What's going on everybody? Dato Doya here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time covering the Dragon Rush mechanic and how important it is to learn some combos for your characters that go into this thing so that you can take some better advantage of the snapback mechanic which can lead into even more combos and it mitigates any of your opponent's blue health that they may be trying to get back. So first things first, the Dragon Rush mechanic in this game serves as the game's grab system. It beats any opponent that's blocking and when you have them, by holding one of the assist buttons, you can snap in one of their characters. This is what's known as a snapback. When a character is brought in like this, they lose any of the blue health they were trying to recover. Which is why I'm covering this in the first place. It's really important to make sure that your opponent does not gain back their blue health. It'll help you end the game much faster than if you let them recover it all. So the combo you're watching right now is a pretty universal way to combo into a snapback, but it does cost one bar in order to do the vanish. So this next combo is a little better in the fact that it doesn't take the meter and the vanish, but it does suffer in the fact that it's character specific. Goku Blue is able to do this because his medium shoulder bash causes a wall bounce on hit, which afterwards you can follow with a dragon rush. Obviously to find out if the characters you play have anything like this, you can obviously look it up online and see if anybody else has discovered anything, but if you want to try to discover it yourself, look for any moves that you can perform in the air that cause a wall bounce. Something like Goku's medium shoulder charge should work. But even if you can't find a way your character can perform a solo swap without using any bar, maybe you can use assist to help get there. You see here after performing the standard forward medium overhead with Goku Blue, I call in Yamcha for his assist which I can then follow up with a simple dragon rush into his snapback. Again this is something you're going to have to experiment with yourself in order to find out things that work for your specific team. I tried it with Yamcha and it worked, but I couldn't find anything to go with Tien's assist. Other than that there's one last thing that I really wanted to cover. When I did my video covering the guard cancel mechanic and the reflect mechanic, a ton of people were surprised to see that even if you were the last character left, you could still guard cancel which results in a vanish. And that really would make sense. You'd think something involving your teammates would stop working if you didn't have those said teammates. And that actually also goes for the snapback mechanic. Just because your opponent doesn't have any teammates left to snap back in, doesn't mean you don't have to use the snapback mechanic. In fact, if you snap back an opponent when they have no teammates left, you can actually get some really unique combos to land. Now I tried for a really long time, somewhere around an hour and a half, but I could just not find anything with Goku Blue. But I know for sure I've at least seen a Gotenks clip on Twitter where he comboed from this. So even though I couldn't find anything, I did want to include this in the video so that you know there is something here to find. So try it out with your character, go to the corner and perform a snapback on their last character and see if you can get anything to combo. And after that, that's about everything I wanted to cover in this video. A couple of these things are super important for the snapback mechanic and I hope you can remember and try to implement in this game. As for the question today, I did want to ask you guys if you are having any success at all with this snapback mechanic. Have any of you had any success with it in your games? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, please remember to click the like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.